this lecture or let's say this video is corresponding to photoelectric effect. Now what exactly is photoelectric effect and why is it of so big of an importance in the field of science? But the fact is this is the theory given by Albert Einstein, the nuisance in the field of physics. He used to say jokes about it, he used to rebuke mathematicians and whatnot. So photoelectric effect is, was the first experimental thing which he actually uh, proved or let's say he actually uh, experimented with or played along with. So apart from being closely associated with Einstein, its major contribution to the field of science is thrashing the idea that light is a wave. So let's see the whole experiment and study the implications about uh, through the results and find out what exactly was my photoelectric effect. So let's see what is photoelectric effect. So let's start our discussion of modern physics with the first phenomena which was a breakthrough in the field of modern physics that is photoelectric effect. So let's start off photoelectric effect. Now in order to understand photoelectric effect in a much better sense you need to know the background as well. Now photoelectric effect was a breakthrough uh, in the sense that it created a doubt in the field of uh, physics whether the light was actually a wave. What happened is there was a fluctuation in the idea of what exactly the light is. Newton said light is a matter, it's a particle. Then comes along Young with his experiment called Young's double slit experiment which we have done extensively in uh, with after of wave optics. That set up the notion that light indeed is a wave. There was no issues regarding that. Now comes along the photoelectric effect, which clearly stated that light is uh, a matter. Now there is, you know, a doubt whether the light. We I have one evidence which completely suggests, which cannot be proven wrong, that light is a wave. I have another similar characteristic of uh, evidence, cannot be proven wrong, and it clearly states light is a matter. So what should I pick up? So the experiment or the event which clearly stated that light indeed is a matter is photoelectric effect. So that's the background associated with photoelectric effect. So let's dig into it. So photoelectric effect showing the light is also a particle as I said. Now how does it uh, actually end up showing the light as a particle? We'll discuss that. Energy comes in a particle like chunks basis of quantum mechanics. So what photoelectric suggested, that is the different interpretation which we can come up with uh, after studying photoelectric effect is the light is made up of small chunks carrying energy and that is the basis of quantum physics. So photoelectric effect actually laid down the foundation for quantum physics. Now energy of one chunk depends upon frequency and wave like beam of light has many chunk. Energy of beam is the sum. So a energy which ca is carried by light can be thought of as uh, comprising of small chunks carrying the energy and the, the energy carried by the whole beam of light is the summation of the, all the energy which is carried by all the chunks. So that is the notion according to pho uh, photoelectric effect or let's say the version, the initial version of quantum physics. Now what are we going to do in studying a uh, photoelectric effect? The first point which we will study is we'll understand this photoelectric uh, experiment PE over here stands for photoelectric. So we will understand this experiment first of all. Then what results you would expect if the light were a classical wave. So I, I did the experiment, I got the results and then I will compare it with what would have been the results if I would have considered the light to be as a wave. It corresponding to that I will have different results and then the, I will cross match it. Right. If there is 100% match, it suggests fine, light is wave. If there are some strong, you know, opposition with the experimental results and uh, the suggestion, the predictions, then I might have to drop the idea of light being wave. What experiment results it actually did give? So that's what I'm saying. We will sort of predict the results first, then get the results and then implication and interpretations of the results. The interpretation of the results in context to the predictions as well. We will take predictions into account and the results into account, match them up. 
and see if there are some clashes or not. So this is the setup, exact setup, and you will be shown a video corresponding to photoelectric effect in coming slides, so as to get the idea of what exactly or how exactly it looks like. So if you notice over here, I have uh, a sort of a wavelength uh, selector. That is, I can select the light which I'm actually throwing on the metal plate, and uh, the intensity as well. How many, uh, or what is the intensity of the light which I'm throwing in? and the battery voltage so it's like a uh, circuit so I have three parameters which I can play with the voltage over here one the intensity of the light and also the wavelength of the light what type of light I'm actually throwing in. so what actually happened is I'll give you an uh, event in a nutshell there are two plates two metal plates of specific nature I threw light on one of the plates and I have connected to the other end of the plates through a wire which you can see over here this is the wire so I have connected two plates through a wire and the space between them is empty. And what I did is I incident a light of specific wavelength on the surface, on one of the surface. And what I observed is current being set up in the circuit. Now that spooks me off. How the hell is the current is able to set up in the circuit given that I haven't given uh, any sort of power, any sort of EMF any sort of voltage so that is kind of spooky for me and uh, okay so we came to know okay it's spooky then what's the reason of the, this phenomenon I can clearly figure out that light has got something to do with it the light when I throw the light light is actually you know throwing out electrons because light has energy it's knocking off electrons good understood so the electrons are moving in a circuit now what I want to find out is uh, is it the or this phenomena is it uh, being governed by considering light as a wave or light as a matter that's what I want to find out now so let's move on